Three, two, one. Action! My name is Curtis Ryan Woodside. I'm a filmmaker and Egyptologist from South Africa. I will be making my move to Italy permanent, where I will be living with Filippo, after more than a year and a half of not being able to get back. Gigi Lamoroso! I have visited Tuscany a couple times before, but this time it's a little different. Now it's about settling in. So come with me on something that I don't usually do, a vlog, and see what we get up to almost every week. It's very foggy this morning. I can't see anything in front. It is just past, uh, what? it is almost 5.30 in the morning, and you might be wondering why are we awake so early, Philly? Because you have to drive me to Pisa. <laughs> yeah, well, he's going to drive to Pisa, and then I'm going to come back, so at least I have a car, because he's going to Sicily for teaching and exams. Yeah. So, yeah, that's why we are up so early. <laughs> One hour we can stop for coffee and eat coffee. Yeah. Ciao, Celine. <laughs> Here she is. I know, and she's two years early. They are right. I have to get up. I know. And then I have to drive back to Florence, but I'm gonna maybe go around Pisa a little bit. Yeah. Pisa actually used to be a very important Roman city. All of the Roman remains in Pisa are now underground, apart from this one structure. Given the name, the Baths of Nero, it was believed to have been part of the palace of Emperor Nero. However, this was misinformation during medieval times, and new information has been found which tells us it was built in the first century by Domitian. Amelia, it's just you and I today. Amelia, Gordon. Ciao. It's just us for a few days. We arrived so early there was practically nobody on the streets and the golden sun rays were just touching the Leaning Tower. As always, the one question you have to ask with that tower is how is it staying up and how is it not falling? The tower consists of seven floors and is 57 meters tall. The bell tower's foundation was laid on the 9th of August, 1173. Usually this spot is one of the busiest in all of Italy. However, today, because I'm here so early, I have it all to myself. Everyone always pays attention to the tower, but what is around it? A pillar with four angels holding up a bronze statue of the female wolf suckling Romulus and Remus, the founders of Rome. Between the tower and the cathedral is the Piazza dei Miracoli, the Piazza of Miracles. At the center, a fallen angel with Medusa on one wing. A part of the broken wing is used to cover the angel's modesty. The angel does not depict anyone specifically, however I can see that it has taken inspiration from the statue of Apollo at Agrigento in Sicily. However, this is a modern statue created by Igor Mitraj. The entire tower is created out of white marble and weighs around 16,000 tons. It already began to lean in the 1200s during its initial construction and now is counterbalanced continually with hidden weights. A lot of people do not take the time to stop and look at the architecture and the decoration on the outside of the tower. At the top of the entrance door is Mary holding the baby Jesus. Intricately carved, 
with the use of colored marble for detailing. Each of the main support columns are topped with protective gargoyles. Amazingly, this tower has stood here for hundreds of years with a degree angle of almost six. Adjacent to the bell tower is the Pisa Cathedral. Constructed from white marble in 1064, the cathedral has a strong Byzantine influence on its architecture. The facade is intricately carved, with each archway having a different decorative pattern made from colored marble. Dedicated to the Virgin Mary, the priest's entrance is decorated with colored mosaics. The giant bronze doors are decorated with scenes from the New Testament. Jesus arriving back in Jerusalem on a donkey with a palm to mark Palm Sunday the famous Last Supper, and above God with the Archangels. Above the public access door is Jesus in a mosaic flanked by Mary and John the Baptist on either side. Inside the cathedral at the pulpit are scenes of Mary, Joseph and Jesus' flight into Egypt to remain safe. Galileo formulated his theory on movement by watching the giant Islamic incense lamp swaying. The baptistry is a cross from the cathedral and was built in 1152 and dedicated to St. John. Created in a Roman Gothic style, each archway shows a different saint. Above the arch of the entrance is a beautiful statue of Mary holding the baby Jesus. Like the bell tower, the baptistry also leans but at a one degree angle. Okay, so now that you have seen some of the main attractions of Pisa, it is time to go back to Florence. Amelia, shall we go? Let's go. No, no, no. We're not going out the car. We're driving now. I guess that's so we don't have a plot, but at least I'm sure of all the things we got. Babe. I got you, babe. I have just driven myself to Pisa to come pick Filippo up. He's back from two weeks in Sicily. She gets so happy to see you. 
Amelia, Amelia, ciao. I get the feeling that Celine is coming to Italy in 2020. When is it saying? 2021. Okay, but that's passed. It now says 2023, and she has the entire side of the airport. And poor Andrea Bocelli has got an A4 poster. Well, Celine, it's very far away, but I appreciate that you're advertising already. We are on our way to Marco's bar for pizza night. Um, I'm not sure if Alfio's singing or not, but uh, we've decided to go anywhere. We're going to meet up with Dewey and Linda and their son Tom and a couple other friends from Donini. <laughs> Oh, he's gorgeous, darling. Oh, Dad. Ciao. Ciao. I got the one of the three of them. Piccolini, tre anni. But they're not. They're not like dogs. No. They're they're like horses. Yeah. They're huge. They sleep. They sleep with me on my bed. They're huge. They're very yeah. very big. This is Linda. Hi. And Linda is Dewey's is uh, Dewey's wife. Yes. So they've been living in Italy for now ten years. Ten years. Ten going years. On our year. Okay, and that's their Tom's son, uh, their Tom's son Tom. Yeah, yeah. Tom. he's our youngest. And you guys know Dewey as well. Dowie, Dewey, Dowie yes. or Dewey? Dowie. 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 You say Dowie. 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 Oh, yeah. And Melania, you guys know Melania, so yeah. ciao. Ciao. Grazie. Ciao Marco. Ciao bello. Eh, L'aglio con eh, cotto e salsiccia. Cotto e salsiccia? Stracchino e salsiccia? No, garlic, sausage e ham. No, ham. Garlic, sausage and ham. Qua. Curtis. Qua. Curtis. This is mine. Dopo dieci anni tu stai in Italia, tu mangi la pizza con l'aglio, la salsiccia e il cotto. Aglio e salsiccia. You are fine. Allora, questo è la gusto. La gusto. Ah, bene. Oh, la prima. La prima. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Ciao. I would like to give a big thank you to my patrons for not only supporting my Egyptology work but my filmmaking in general. And thank you to all of you for watching and supporting my videos.